Okay, um, each to their own I suppose. Uh, do you mind explaining to me what you mean by, you know, chasing them with tinfoil? Anybody? Now that's bang out of order. You know that all his villains were made out of tin. Ah. Yeah. I just overheard it because uh, I love the, it seems to me but I'm reviewing it next. Uh, yeah. Um yeah, I'll just be off. Uh, enjoy your meal. Hello YouTube and today I'm reviewing the Crotons. <coughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed the intro, it was just for a bit of fun, you know, I don't mean to offend anybody, I don't know if it will offend anybody in any way, I'm not sure, um, but the reason I did it was because, you know, just to freshen it up, instead of having the doctor, all the doctors and um, a few monsters, <coughs> and because it's, you know, nearly Christmas, I mean, I suppose you've got to do a bit of, you know, something different for Christmas. Um, yeah. So, I'll start off with the... Oh, yeah. And if you want to know what that sketch is called and you haven't seen it, then type in Dead Ringers Doctor Who Christmas Day and you should get it. It is a brilliant sketch. So, if we start off with the cover. Ah, so, we've got some Croton text there, a Croton there. Wendy Padbury, Patrick Troughton at the top of a DVD, Patrick Troughton there PG the side it does stand out you can see just put it next to it, it does sort of stand out then at the back you've got the trio then you've got um, Pat and the Umbrella famous scene from the Crotons and then you've got Pat and Wendy so if we look at the little booklet, yes, the little booklet, <laughs> yes, so there is the little booklet with a croton on, you wouldn't expect it anything different would you? So we've got commentary, we've got second time around and that's basically looking at the second Doctor era. I think the first one was on the gun fighters, if I'm right in saying. Then you've got the Doctor Who story, stories, Fraser Hind part one in brackets. So, does that mean there are going to be more Patrick Troughton stories? I hope so, because the Ice Warrior trailer, or DVD trailer, has been confirmed. So, it looks like in, a, in the foreseeable future, we'll be receiving the Ice Warriors. The Doctor's Strange Love, which is basically people talking about the Crotons. Um, yeah, I think the first one of these was on the Nightmare of Eden. I don't know if it is, because I don't have the Nightmare of Eden in my possession. Production, production subtitles, Radio Times listings, photo gallery, and the coming soon trailer, which is the greatest show in the galaxy. So I'll just give you a rough idea of a story. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so what happens is the Doctor Zoe and Jamie arrive, and this planet is enslaved by. Well, these people are enslaved by the Crotons, and the people are called the Gongs. Now the people take a intelligence test, and if they are smart enough, they become a companion of the Crotons. Uh, they go in, and then they have their brains sort of sucked dry, you know, just sucked out and, you know, all the intelligence absorbed into the crotons, and then they just go back out, and then they are completely destroyed. And um, there are, you know, there are a few traces, but no bodies. Um, yeah, I find it a really good idea. Um, yeah, I'd just like to talk a bit to you about the Crotons, the monster. So, the Crotons themselves are a really good idea. I mean, using intelligence, because intelligence is a phenomenal, you know, weapon. It is one of the greatest weapons in the world. It's like saying, 
which is better a quill or a sword it's one of those like one of those um yeah now the crotons remind me of a sort of robotic version of the doctor now you'll wonder why now in the planet of spiders a tibetan monk what actually turned out to be a time lord said you have one down for doc and the doctor's like uh, what is that your first for knowledge and that you know the crotons require you know knowledge to sort of survive if you like to call it that way um yeah the design of the crotons is good uh well the top half is uh the bottom half is basically tin foil uh, just like the intro said um yeah i yeah maybe they just went all out on the top and then just thought oh hang on we forgot the bottom half let's just cover it in tin foil and hope nobody notices Obviously, people did notice. Now, Terence Dix said that uh, they sort of didn't fit with a gun. Now, I'd have to agree with that. They can't exactly hold guns very well. But they, the idea is there. The idea is very good. But they are sort of a crystal, uh, crystal race. Yeah, this story is basically a Zoe and the Doctor story, even though Jamie is in the story. Um, because this story is about intelligence, not saying Jamie is stupid, uh, as a quote from the episode, I shall say. This is not a high brain, this is a primitive brain. Which just makes me think, you know, Jamie is sort of, you know, like the gongs, and then, you know, just like the gongs. You know, he's got the same intelligence as them. Well, the Doctor and Zoe, you know, sort of have a good, you know, intelligence. I'm not taking the mick out of Jamie. Jamie is a really good companion. Uh, yeah, uh, part one and part two are brilliant. They are brilliant pieces of work by Robert Holmes. And this is his first story, which is a fact. His second story was uh, The Space Pirates, which isn't good. Yeah, so the actual story is good. Well, as I was saying, part one and two are brilliant, especially the cliffhangers. I mean, Patrick Troughton has something about him. His facial expressions sort of give it away, you know, no matter how bad the monster is, not in the terrifying way, but in it as the design of the monster, not taking the mick out of the budget whatsoever. Where am I? is a question um you know it just makes you think is the doctor gonna get out of this alive tune in next week to find out obviously don't tune in next week because it will be a different story and yeah well a different story i'll be reviewing um yeah i love well part three sort of lags part four gets on track and then it ends i i do like this story i think this is a good story but not one you should start and a lot of people have said it was a bizarre choice for the five faces of Doctor Who I think it was called in the early 80s they showed uh, numerous old fash uh, classic episodes such as the Unearthly Child, The Crotons, Three Doctors, Carnival of Monsters, Logopolis um, I think they showed a few uh, another one I'm not sure and people said it was a bit of a bizarre choice to choose for Crotons. They were like expecting Tomb of a Cyberman, but little did they know the Tomb of a Cyberman was missing in the archive. Um, yeah, memorable scenes, the TARDIS being like, um, destroyed by the Crotons and reappearing. Yeah. So the Crotons, I will give a 8. I love the Crotons. They are a really clever idea using a. Well, Robert Holmes is a brilliant writer, and this is a good story. What he writ. What he writ, or whatever. This is a good Patrick Troughton story. He's not regarded as one of his best. His best is probably Tomb of the Cybermen. But anyway, thanks for watching this review. I'm not exactly sure what my next review will be. Uh, yeah, I'll just. 
go along with it. Yeah, so thank you for watching this review, and my next review will be some Doctor Who story. So yeah, or it may even be a figure review, I don't know. So thank you for watching this review, and goodbye.